All right, we got this 2013 Hyundai Sonata. This is a hybrid model, and we got this issue with uh, severe bucking and jerking on acceleration and braking. A really bad on acceleration, and so bad that you know, like I had a cup in there and it was shaking and jerking that it spilled that. So uh, before we get into the video, um, just want to say if you're not a uh, member of the channel I invite you to subscribe and if you uh, find the content helpful please hit that like button but anyways uh, <clears throat> this was a video I've been wanting to do for a while uh, this was probably back at the beginning of the summer when this issue kind of popped up and um, basically making it <clears throat> undrivable in a sense because it would do this like intermittently it was randomly uh, there was an issue at first where when it would start bucking and jerking <clears throat> that it would go into this uh, limp mode you start hearing the dreaded beep and then it you know shuts you down you can't you know do more than 10 miles an hour you have to pull over and uh, kill the car and then sometimes you could start it and it would do fine sometimes you'd have to uh, let it set for you know 10 15 minutes Okay, so first of all, uh, wasn't getting any codes on here, except for one code that did come up and was with the uh, DC converter. Uh, if you don't know what that is, basically it um, you know takes the power from the hybrid battery and distributes that. You got a hybrid battery and a 12 volt. <clears throat> I actually wound up replacing that with a used one because it was giving me those codes but that did not fix the issue uh, did a lot of research and was getting you know a lot of transmission issues people were going in to the dealerships and they were saying you need a new transmission or um, you need this transmission the oil pump because it's like a mechanical electrical oil pump that's mounted up here on this transmission on the front um, could be the electrical motor portion of the transmission or the transmission it itself okay so the other thing I was hearing a lot of you know 12 volt battery so I started monitoring the 12 volt battery a lot and you know it wasn't really bad but I was charging that up see if it made any difference it didn't help uh, the hybrid battery they were saying you know it could be an issue with a hybrid battery but the hybrid battery was doing its job and performing the way it was supposed to be so absolutely no codes or anything were coming up and this was uh, taking place over probably a couple months okay so I've got the hood up here I just wanted to point out this is your DC converter over here and uh, the jury's out on that I know I got a code on it and I replaced it with a used one it wasn't a whole lot but that code has not come back Okay, so what wound up fixing this? Well, on a whim, what I did was replaced all of these coil packs. Wasn't getting any code or anything, but it was a inexpensive test to see, you know, if this was a problem and it wasn't going to hurt a thing in the world. So replaced all of the coil packs and to date this issue has not came back so that tells me that it was the problem so it's you know it's a hybrid so um, it is kind of kind of different how these cool packs on most vehicles you would get you know uh, basically like a cutting out a hesitation not wanting to go or accelerate but on these cars it will almost trick you into thinking that you've got some major issue with the transmission or you know some component there that's you know really expensive uh, fix but as it turns out a very inexp inexpensive fix and a very simple fix okay and uh, like I said I really wasn't finding any information on this whatsoever other than transmission issues I was seeing that a lot and I did read a lot about how people were taking these things in eight thousand dollars getting their transmission replaced somewhere 
and the same exact problem just coming right back. So before you go that route, definitely replace these coil packs. They're not very expensive. I think it was 70 bucks for all four of them. So definitely a cheap way to start there because this may very well be the issue that you're having. If you're not getting any codes and you're getting this, you know, severe jerking and bucking on acceleration and when braking. Okay, like I said, I know this has fixed the issue because it's been about three months at least Thanks since I started having this and uh, it completely went away. No more issues whatsoever. So I just wanted to get this video up. Hopefully this can help somebody else out and save you a lot of money before you go to extreme fixes on here and replacing the transmission, the electric motor or whatever. Uh, but hopefully this can help someone else out. So if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching.